Hello YouTube, it's Proceed to Gaming. So today I'm playing some more From the Depths, and uh, today I've got a battleship to showcase to you guys. Right now I'm in the bridge of it. Uh, as you can see, it's got basically a 360 degree view, except for the back right there, but you can see it from this side. So, it's a pretty good design so far, and I'm going to get in the seat and let you have a better view of it. So it's like most battleships with two smaller cannons in the front and one in the back, except I've added this rocket launcher for air defense and I've raised up this larger cannon so there's space under it. So yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a pretty spacious boat. It's got a lot of armor. The strongest armor, which is this orange looking metal, is over the water and the lighter armor is under the water so the boat is lighter and um, when any firearms like hit under the water they do a lot less damage so that design works out pretty well and has stabilizers along the bottom it's got a bunch of propellers but I had to add these rocket these jet engines to like um, make sure that it doesn't tip up like this because every single boat just wants to tip up when you give it full speed so you have to use the jet engines to counteract that it's kinda it's kind of a tedious job to get it pretty even but I think I've got it pretty close right now Let's see yeah I think that's perfect right there yeah, so we're at a pretty fast speed for most boats, especially ones for this size. And uh, I showed you the outside, now let's test out some of the cannons. So yeah, to get into the bridge you jump through this nine block hole and go down, go down here, but I'm not going to go down there yet. So... This is where you can walk under this giant cannon. I'm going to test this one out first. We're not going to test it on anything yet. We're just going to shoot it. So this one, like most of the cannons that I make, has a pretty fast rate of fire and a decent sized caliber. And it's very explosive. These things explode off of basically anything except for these birds because they're not real. So that's this one. I believe I can fire this one. These are all AI connected, by the way. Yep. Yeah, that that that'll do a lot of damage to anything. All those missiles. And then we got these two down here. All right. And these have high rate of fire as well. They almost knock over the boat sometimes before I added those stabilizers which are along the bottom of it it almost knocked over the boat and it's still giving a lot of recoil but this is good imagine being a little ship and seeing all these bullets coming at you oops I think I hit the bridge got a little overboard yeah I knocked a block off the bridge but the repair bots I think have already fixed it so good for them Ooh. Right, and finally I have these um, missiles, which I don't really know how to use them. But yeah, I do. Okay, so just fire them, and then never mind. They're going wherever they want to go. Okay, I'm surprised they didn't hit my boat and blow it up. Yeah, there's also a bunch of these on the side which I can fire. So that's good, and that bubble thing that you might be seeing popping up on the screen is actually the radar, which is on, it's kind of hard to go from floor to floor, I'll admit. So yeah, the radar system is in here, this is where all the AI is, you buy a bunch of repair bots, so if anything breaks will get fixed and the engines are right under this so these will all repair the engine 
and it's got a bunch of doors so if this little section gets blown up it won't allow water into those sections so it'll be more buoyant just like the Titanic had a bunch of separate doors that had floating compartments except the gash down the side of it tore into too many of the compartments and it had to sink I believe I hit land yeah I think we're hitting land that no, doesn't matter so now let's go downstairs and the whole front of this is all um, fuel the entire front of the ship is fuel these are some ammo producers and fuel uh, producers it's the respawn point basically in the middle of the ship the, inside this heavy armored steel area is all the ammo sort of see the barrels right there the engine back here is uh, it's got a maximum input of 3467 I'm only using like a third of that so yeah this is a pretty strong engine I could have a lot more propellers and rocket engines but I don't really need them so that's about it uh, let's see where we are because I feel like yeah we ran aground but I think we just went right over it alright to end this video I'm going to try to stop this thing which is kind of hard to do considering you have to switch between the rocket engines and the propellers but I'm going to do it alright so I believe I'm taking damage over here see little explosions I don't know why the water around my boat is clear I don't like that but whatever Alright, T. Can only give it a little bit of power without turning on the rocket engines. This is basically the cruising speed, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to try to remember a control. Yes, okay. Okay. Yeah, so I spawned the ship in, and now currently the AI is going to engage it. I'm not pressing any buttons right now. The AI has found it with the radar, I believe. Okay, I don't know what it's doing. Am I gonna have to help it out? Just go forward, what are you doing? Alright, now just give it some rocket engines. Looks normal. Is that the ship that I'm about to attack? No, that's just a little raft he spawned on. So, okay, so I'm glad the AI knows where the ship is because I don't. So, yeah, imagine just seeing this thing coming at you. So that'd be kind of. Uh, I would try to go get away, but these things are pretty long range. And the AI always knows where you are, so. That'll suck. The only bad part about this thing is it runs aground really easily. Yeah, I'm losing a bunch of propellers. That's not good. The AI, I guess, doesn't have a depth reader just kind of goes over anything which is whatever I mean this game's still in like alpha I believe but 
hopefully it'll be within range of the other ship, which probably shouldn't have driven so far away. Let's see if we can give it max speed right now. Oops. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. All right, let's go. I should also try to move my player because he gets shot, and then that would suck. Right, I'm gonna move my player right now. Tab, what is going on here? Okay, gonna get inside of the bridge so we don't get killed. I'm gonna spawn another boat. Next one will do east. Spawn that in. All right. Hopefully we'll engage that boat soon. Didn't I didn't realize how far away we were. So there's like, wait, there is a map, isn't there? Okay, now that doesn't tell you where the enemies are. I I don't even know what I'm doing, to be completely honest. I'm gonna engage an area. Why can't I move this? Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna engage this area. What but we'll have to see. Okay, yeah, we're obviously engaging someone I hear. Oh. Yeah, they look like they're sending a lot of missiles after me. I don't know why the ship is trying to run away. This looks pretty good. That looks cool. Look at all those missiles flying over there. Let's see where they land. Wait, we can't do that. Never mind. We are taking some damage. And we're not turning very fast. So that's not good. I don't think the boat wants us to turn. It's not letting me. Alright, AI. Do what you want to do. Oh, crap. Can someone shoot down that plane, please? Yeah, that plane screwed once those hit it. Oh, dude, 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 you're screwing up the other one. Gosh. I may have to fix that. That is a problem. No, 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 no don't blow up this thing. Gosh. Yeah, so this cannon does, that AI for this cannon right here is not working, and they just blew up this plane, I believe, or they shot its ammo, whatever you want to call it, but yeah, they're wrecking it. Of course it had to happen right next to my ship, just to blow it up a little bit. So yeah, this thing in combat is pretty good, it's just, it's, it's hitting this cannon, this large through bell cannon is shooting this one which the AI is currently not working for oh, okay I forgot to put the pieces on alright see if I can do this real quick alright AI wireless receiver local weapon there we go now it should be controlling It looks like we're turning around for another run. We haven't taken too much damage. Which is pretty good. I'm proud of this ship. The AI doesn't know to use the rocket engines to 
So I'm gonna have to help it out. Whoa. Yep. Yeah, so the AI for this is working, but it missed its shot. I don't know why that plane's all the way up there. What's it doing? Oh, it was gonna hit it? That would be sick if it did. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's cool. Pull off its tail rotor, I think. This guy's like in space. Damn. He's getting so screwed up by just one of my cannons. Ah, oh, all those missed. That sucks. I think he is being repaired. Maybe. I can't really tell. Dang, this guy's just... He's trying to fly and it's doing so much random crap that it's not working out. Really hope we can kill him soon, though. Look at all those missiles flying at him. So bad for this guy. There's like no chance. You do realize you're gonna run into land, right? AI, come on, buddy. What are you doing? And I died. Because of the fact that my cannons are shooting each other. So that's a defiant. Oh, wow. That's a design flaw. Obviously. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah, the design flaw obviously needs to be fixed, but I really think that's not so much something I need to fix as the devs should, because, um, I mean, like, the cannon shouldn't shoot its own blocks. Like, it's doing it right now. It's about to shoot this thing once it rebuilds itself. Which, that's not so much as my problem as it is theirs. But, yeah. And, the AI was being an idiot and just ran my ship into the ground, so. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and like the video. I know it kind of got lower quality at the end, but uh, if you'd like it, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.